even got time to ease into this vlog, honey. Let's just get right on into it. I wasn't planning on starting, planning on starting this vlog right now, today. This is Thursday. I usually try to vlog Fridays and Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? But several things happened today that changed the order of how we are starting. So bam, one, first thing that happened. I go to my room, right? I'm getting stuff together for the shoot that I have this Saturday, right? I am going through clothes and I'm like, okay, I need to get these clothes off of my floor. That was one of the goals I had for this week is I have a basket full of clothes that has been at the end of my bed. We're not even gonna talk about for how long. I needed to get that stuff up. And so I go to like, you know, going through washing the clothes and doing all this stuff and, and trying to organize. And I literally stood at the end of my bed like, I just, uh, why? I don't, I, where is all this from? <laughs> I don't know where all of these clothes are from. Like, it, granted, I've been a fashion blogger for like five years. So I just, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know where all of this stuff is coming from so i'm like okay i have to do something to create some order which is fine that it, i'm actually glad that i like kind of come to that now because i actually had a different video planned for to vlog for you guys starting tomorrow and it was supposed to be sponsored but the clothes that i was gonna do in that video didn't work out but it just didn't fit and i'm like no i'm not i'm not even gonna try to force this one i'm just not a forcing person two i can't force clothes if it don't fit it don't fit and i'm not gonna put it on here um so it came at the right time because i've been needing more order in my life anyway and the time it takes me to figure out what the crap to wear, I feel like I've had the same 10 to 12 pieces of clothing on rotation. Um, <laughs> like I'm washing clothes too much. For me to have so many clothes, I'm washing clothes way too much. Um, so I'm like, okay, let's, let's figure out what we're gonna do. So today, as I am binge watching Black Lightning, that I just found, might I add you, with my mom last weekend and then they have like they're on their final season i'm just i don't even want to talk about it that's a whole nother different heartbreak that i'm at that i'm at and then other thing that happened today i'm sorry i'm i know you guys come here to relax when you watch me but baby this is this is what you're getting um went to get my nails done right here's the here's the thing about a nail tech i know you guys have been to the nail shop where you have the pushiest nail tech force her opinions and things on you right i have already known that i am a people pleaser i'm working myself out of that through self-awareness bit of therapy clarity and reading that boundaries book so i know i'm a people pleaser that's something i'm working on i've been doing very well by the way but i think when i'm surprised when i don't go in knowing that it's gonna be like a people pleasing situation and I need to stay on my grind, stay on my guard. I, I, I trinkle back into the, to the girl that wants to please your, your feelings. And I don't want to do that. So I go in there and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm gonna get. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what we doing. She gets in there. I get, I talk to this lady. She's like, Hey, and she's like, you know, she, she tells, she talks me out of a, the almond nail shape because she says for old people and then she which i thought was funny but i i was like i kind of like it but okay <laughs> so she talks me out of that and then i just decide to go with it that's my fault and then i changed my mind to the ombre i've been wanting the pink and white ombre which i think she did the ombre very good but if you look closer you can see the nastiness of these nails i have uh, First of all, it's very unclean underneath. Let me see, hopefully you can see it. Very unclean underneath. You can see like, I, I don't know if you can tell through the camera. Basically it's acrylic on skin. She nicked me on two nails. Uh, she created a whole new nail, um, nail shape because she's over the edges of my nail bed. Like I've lived with my nails all my life. I know how they look and how they are shaped. I have a, cosmetology license been over 10 years and i'm very good at looking and shaping nails myself that was my specialty when i was in cosmetology school in high school that was my specialty i was really good at nails Spe specifically acrylic so i'm very picky and can tell at the very beginning when somebody not going to do something right but the people pleaser in me is not the say hey 
I don't think you're gonna do this right. Can you stop and I may go get this nail tech over here that I know will do my stuff right? Like, it's a line and I'm learning, but um, yeah, it's horrible. So basically the nail owner, the nail shop owner was like, girl, I see. I got you if you can come back at a different time because I had to go back home because I went on my lunch break and then she messed she 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 got me into the stiletto nails I'm not a stiletto nail girl I'm either square and now almond um square round tip and now almond but the stiletto I can do is basically a square with a little bit more narrow uh tip but if you do it right and you have everything centered it looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing and it kind of curves it just looks beautiful i just don't trust everybody's shape because not everyone knows how to shape a an, an acrylic nail so that threw me off today because i wasn't expecting to go to the nail shop and not like my nails <laughs> and then they and then you know i remember i told y'all last time i went to the nail shop this nail shop i go to their prices are double what i would pay when I used to get my nails done, they were just totally different. I don't like it. So I'm like, okay, I'm paying way too much money to not like my nails. So I'm gonna go back sometime tomorrow, probably during my lunch, and actually use the nail shop owner um, to try to fix it. Because what I'm not gonna do is go to this uh, shoot with my nails looking like so. I've been talking to y'all for six minutes, but yeah. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> I feel like I've been talking a lot. And sorry if this is coming off very like high. I'm actually very relaxed and this is gonna be a very good day. Like I know all I have left to do today is work on the clothes, get that together, like kind of find some organization in what I need to store. And then tomorrow I'm actually gonna go to the container store, find some kind of containers or something that will allow me to organize my closet in a way that gives me some kind of peace okay i just want to get clothes off my floor in my closet and in my room bare minimum so i don't know how far we're going to get in that in this vlog so if you're one of the people that actually enjoy watching declutter with me and organize with me stuff and you get satisfaction out of the finished project i don't know if this is the vlog for you because i'm gonna tell you i don't know depend on how i feel on friday night before this photo shoot is what is how this vlog is gonna go um so i'm not gonna like eh, it's it took me two years to get it a mess i don't expect to have it fixed in in the matter of a few hours over the over a couple of days so it's gonna take some time it may be a few vlogs that we get this worked on but um we're gonna get it there we're gonna get it there i think that's something i need to focus on all month is organizing because i have a whole section in my in my office that i strategically don't show you guys because of the mess it is so i need to get that organized and put that in a file cabinet get my closet in my office organized so i can kind of figure out how to maneuver some clothes into there and i'm thinking about making my office a cloth is ah! so what do you guys think like i'm thinking about cutting some of the greenery in that greenery wall to maybe the top section like maybe the like about this much of the top and have like a name or something across i've already been wanting a name or something and then just have like some of those ikea or yeah the ikea pack systems or something on that wall that allows me to have some things in that uh office as well um like you know shoes and clothes and stuff like that because that's my working space and then the fact that i'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator it it's really helps to have some stuff in there so i know y'all didn't ask for all of that but that's how this vlog is starting so i <laughs> i hope this vlog is enjoyable um but yeah i i am i just got off of work and i'm gonna get myself together i didn't mean to start falling this house but i'm gonna get myself together so that we can start binge watching black lightning because i love that show <laughs> i love it so much love a good black based superhero movie and the music that they have in there if you like my music you gonna like that music honey the music that they have in there is bomb every time they come on on the scene where the daughters are in their room uh, looking at the computer or something like that i'm pulling up my spotify uh no my shazam like hold up wait a minute go back <laughs> let me get that song um so yeah they got some nice music in there and i love the actors this is just one thing i don't understand it's like how are they not supposed to know the superheroes are who they are because all y'all doing is wearing shades that's all you're doing maybe that was the same on the other superhero movies too and i just didn't notice it 
y'all. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this. finally got all of the clothes off the floor from at the end of my bed so I can finally walk <sighs> up to the bed um but still have a long way to go <laughs> so these are just some items like some winter and fall items that I know I need to put in storage I need to find some kind of place to um like store this stuff and where to put them how I'm going to store them and all of that and then this is just these are just clothes that I need to put in the washing machine so my whole laundry room is a state as well basically I have a very long way to go I um just did what I could for tonight and I thought like ooh, the lighting is horrible over here hold on I thought actually that I'd be able to do a lot more than I did like tonight I did clear off the bed which is good I cleared off the bottom which is fine got some stuff hung up or put the items that need to be washed in a basket and then folded up the things that need to go in storage so I guess I did do a lot in the matter of an hour because I only had an hour I said I say an hour and 30 minutes before it's time for me to like get in the bed and get ready to start this next day overall all over again and so organizing is not my thing it's not my ministry but after just like looking in my laundry room and looking in my closet I have a very long way to go very long way to go I have a lot to organize and a lot to do and don't have a lot of time on my hands so I gotta figure something out and I can't pay anybody to do it for me because I don't have that kind of cash I don't have that kind of loot um, because of all of my extra money going to my debt-free journey so I have to do it myself and have to find some kind of energy and patience to do it so I may run to the container store tomorrow to see what I can find um, I could do it through Amazon and stuff like that but I honestly kind of like when I'm in the mood to do something I learned that I need to do it then um, especially if it's like something that's going to benefit my space like cleaning up and organizing and decorating and stuff like that if I'm in the mood to do it I need to do it then because I'm not always in the mood to do stuff because <laughs> because I do so much already um, it's very easy for me to get like completely out of the mood like nah I'm, I'm gonna wait and then not get back to it at all <laughs> but um so I think I'm gonna run to the container store tomorrow and see what I can find to kind of work on but I do I was thinking to go ahead and get containers to put like my winter and fall stuff in but I need to see how much I have first before going out and purchasing that kind of stuff so and then kind of do some pricing too to see what I can get that is more affordable I guess I should say uh, and then I may think of like some Ikea pack systems or something like that for the office and maybe for my closet as well because I my original plan before moving into this house was to get a custom closet before even getting into the house no didn't happen I decided to go on a debt-free journey so <laughs> all of my extra loot is going to that and so I think a custom closet for the size that I wanted um it wouldn't have been a whole lot of money but very worth it to me but it's just not a practical purchase at this moment because of what I what my goals are um so I need to find a way to get the organization I need and then once I have it, I may not even feel like I need a custom closet. I don't know. But it will increase the purchase price of the house whenever I do decide to move, which is nowhere soon that I know of. But <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up. But um, anyways, 
yeah this is just a thought for a future um but yeah i am about to shut it down for the night so i will see you guys tomorrow and let's see what we can actually get into with trying to do this whole organization thing because honey god be with us okay god be with us Cause I don't know how this gonna end Oh no Tell me now, tell me something Cause I don't wanna be just friends No, no Yeah Hit me out, hit me out That can make you do the craziest things Yeah Ooh, So, y'all, it is now 9:57. <laughs> today got away from me so fast i actually when i was uh when we just did this last time lapse that you guys watched it was what five o'clock <laughs> i was actually getting stuff ready for the photo shoot in the morning to just like you know be ready for the shoot not have to get anything ready in the morning so i could just grab stuff and go and we did not get off of work until seven 45 7:43 to be exact and it's friday it's friday like why are we working so late on friday but of course it's the end of clothes and um we had a new person so i'm i'm not sure if that contributed to why we worked so late but usually um for the last like few weeks they have been having they've just been wanting to have like catch-up meetings on friday i was like friday is not the day for a catch-up meeting it's just anyways anywho um so got off of work late and then got um distracted uh not distracted but got uh the lawn people came here to fertilize my grass finally so as you guys know from the last vlog um or two vlogs ago i don't remember what it was but I did not have a person, uh, I had to let go of my last lawn person um, because of him just not keeping his word. Just doesn't make sense to me for, as a business owner, why are you not keeping your word? So yeah, I uh, had to let him go, but finally the new guys fertilized my grass. So I'm like, allowing the sprinklers to run for those tonight, uh, for that tonight. And then I think I'm gonna straighten up a little bit down here down here like I got it upstairs I'm gonna straighten up a little bit <laughs> before going to bed and like just kind of resting right now I'm watching still watching Black Lightning I'm in season two I've been watching them all day I actually changed up my work how I did my uh work today I didn't go in the office at all today um by in the office I mean in the front of my house my home office uh but I didn't go in the office all day today like I just I just ended up one just talking to God this morning actually feeling the Holy Spirit this morning and just kind of talking to him and just enjoying time with him and then I didn't even feel like honestly reading the word at that moment I didn't want to change that I just wanted to like that be with me for the rest of that morning so i ended up after just spending time and talking to him just ended up working in the bed so that's kind of how that went um but so yeah i worked in the bed for until like lunchtime and then came and then worked in the living room so that's how the whole day went and it's pretty much how my day went i did i wanted to go get like my nails fixed because remember i talked to you guys about my nails not being done properly and it's just you like I'm like you know what let me just do what I can and I just will never go back to that nail shop again because I can go back there I would have liked to be able to go back there but I didn't have the time I wanted to do it during my lunch but my sister came over during my lunch so I didn't have the time to do it then and then um I couldn't do it after work because by the time we would have gotten let go to you know by the time they would have let us go home or be done with work it had been by the it had been after the nail shop closed so it wouldn't have made sense and all of this to try to get it fixed before the photo shoot when they should have been done right in the first place but that is the people pleaser in me that needs to sit 
down and speak up sorry about that my camera uh my memory card got full so i had to delete some things but yeah um forgot what i was saying oh yeah the people pleasing thing i know why i do it i'm gonna add it to the list of things i need to talk about with my therapist <laughs> so i'm gonna work through that um but yeah since it's getting so late and i gotta get up at like six o'clock in the morning for the photo shoot which is gonna be in a different vlog i'm gonna go ahead and straighten up shut down the house and by that i'll just try to straighten up what i can you know get dishes out the sink stuff off the countertops and all of that um before going to bed and then i think i'm gonna make me some turmeric milk before going to bed so i'll probably show you guys what i do with that because it's very good for um removing inflammation or lessening the amount of inflammation in your body like passing it through so yeah i think i'm gonna show you guys that Let's go ahead and clean off what's going on in this situation and turn on black lightning and I can take my behind to what? Busy. Well, shower in a bit. <laughs> like crazy from walmart so cute love it she guys really liked the kettle it's just so aesthetically pleasing i love the touch screen just so cute absolutely love it so same thing it's touch screen with the um toaster as well and i've been using it a lot more because y'all know i was putting my toast in the oven which is very um long so much better but anyways i've made my turmeric milk guys you see how i made it i actually put the turmeric mixture it's like a superfoods mixture that is from amazon i'll have it linked below but um it's just turmeric ginger uh what else is it turmeric ginger i think like a pinch of black pepper hold on let me look some carrots it's vegan it's my uh, goji berry cinnamon and some other stuff but yeah this is the golden milk really helps with inflammation um it like i don't have any pain or anything like that but i just like to have it at night sometimes it's just calming and then it helps with uh, any inflammation that i may have in like my feet or anything like that right before a photo shoot so i actually heated up some water put it uh put a teaspoon of the mixture in a plastic cup and then just kind of stirred it so that the mixture is uh the powder is like fully melted i guess i should say before putting it in the milk and so this is just oat milk warmed oat milk i put it in the microwave for two minutes and this is that insulated cup that i got from amazon 
um, and it's just the warmed milk and put that in there plus maple syrup and then you have your golden milk for the night so y'all i'm officially in the bed done my skincare routine got myself together ready for bed and i'm about to enjoy my turmeric milk and just watch the remaining few minutes of black lightning before actually calling in a night so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it was like I know I'll be doing regular stuff and y'all like, girl, we here for it. Thank you so much for all of your support <laughs> because, you know, it's very helpful in what I create that you guys will like. Just um, me. I'll be having y'all all up in my face, but y'all like me just, just to spend the day with me. So that's exciting. So uh, the next vlog should be a bit more eventful. Um, I'm going to take you guys along. A photo shoot with me and just spending time with me and my cousin Leslie you guys know Leslie and yeah we're just gonna spend a little Saturday together honey and see how that thing work out but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and you leave a thumbs up because that helps suggest the videos to other people so they can join the online fam and just have a good time in the comments like we all do I thank you guys so much for everything you've done and just liking the videos and sharing it so thank you um that's it so go ahead and take a good night's sleep and i'll talk to y'all later honey bye Stone all over. Tell me now.